We've made a handful of videos on the Turkish economic crisis and the collapse of the Turkish lira, but there have been some wild developments we wanted to update you on. These include President Erdogan's latest scheme to save the lira, which apparently involves convincing Turkish citizens to give the state their gold. If you want more global videos like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon. Thanks for your support. So, before we get into the video, a bit of context. As I mentioned, we've done quite a few videos on this topic before, so if you want to know more about it, then go and watch those. But the long and short of it is that for the last six months or so, the lira has been collapsing in value, and inflation has been running rampant. Traditional economic theory will tell you that if your currency is crumbling and inflation is high, then you should raise interest rates to essentially cool your economy down and thereby lower inflation. As we've detailed in our other videos, Erdogan disagrees with traditional economics, and apparently just really hates raising interest rates. Erdogan's response to the crisis, therefore, has been to cut interest rates and sack any central bank governor or finance minister who disagrees with him. Unsurprisingly, this meant that the lira continued to decline, and inflation continued to rise. For context, in mid-December, the lira was trading at an all-time high of 16 lira to the dollar, double what it was a year beforehand, and eight times what it was a decade ago. Regarding inflation, official data from February now puts it at a 20-year high of 48.7%, and unofficial data puts it even higher. Data from ENA Group in December found that real inflation was about double that of the official figure, which would put inflation today at nearly 100%. True to form, when the official figures were released last month, Erdogan promptly sacked the head of the Turkish Statistical Institute and replaced him with another Erdogan ally. In a last-ditch effort to stem the collapse and prevent a run on the banks, which is when everybody starts withdrawing their money from the banks at once, thereby increasing the probability of default, on December the 20th, Erdogan desperately announced a new policy, which we covered in this video. Essentially, the government promised to top up your savings to keep pace with the dollar, if you kept them in lira. So, let's say you have a thousand lira in a savings account. The central bank interest rate is currently 14%, which means that after a year, you'll get 140 lira worth of interest, taking your total savings to 1,140 lira. Now, if over that year the lira has halved in value against the dollar, then you'd need 2,000 lira to be as wealthy as you were, at least in dollar terms, at the end of the year. The government would therefore deposit 860 extra lira in your account and you'd have 2,000 lira, the same in dollar value as you had at the start of the year. Anyway, originally the policy looked like it was working. The lira surged more than 50% against the dollar, going from nearly 17 lira per dollar on December the 20th to about 10 on December the 26th. Most people assumed this was because Turks were actually converting their dollars into lira and then depositing it away, but this was actually because Turkey's central bank was spending the last few foreign exchange reserves that they had left buying lira, artificially increasing demand and therefore value. In two days, Turkish banks spent $7 billion buying lira, bringing the Turkish central bank's foreign exchange reserves to a two-decade low of $8.6 billion on December the 24th. This was more than double the 3 billion or so dollars worth of lira actually deposited by Turks. So, when the central bank stopped using its foreign exchange reserves because, well, it didn't have any left, demand dried up and the lira started depreciating again. By January the 10th, the lira had lost 25% of its value, going from about 10 lira per dollar on December the 26th to about 13.5 lira per dollar, where it stayed since. Now, this is bad news for the government, because they've somehow got to top up all these now depreciated lira deposits, but it hasn't deterred ordinary citizens who've been promised that their savings will keep pace with the dollar. Because the government has promised to maintain the dollar value of their deposits, Turkish citizens have now deposited some $23 billion in these dollar-protected accounts. Unfortunately for Erdogan, this has left the Turkish government in a pretty precarious position. The $23 billion clearly hasn't been enough to save the lira. It's still trading at about 13.5 lira per dollar, which is pretty terrible. But it's a large enough amount of money that, if the lira's value falls any further, the government will seriously struggle to top up all of these accounts. In this case, the government will be essentially left with two terrible options. 
Number one, print the money and risk further inflation, or two, find the money via taxes, which isn't going to be popular given the state of Turkey's economy right now. Anyway, you get the point. The Turkish government is rightly terrified of any further depreciation in the lira. So, in an attempt to protect against further devaluation, they've come up with yet another harebrained scheme. In a press conference in London on February the 8th, Turkey's finance minister, Nuruddin Nabati, announced that the government was finalising a plan to buy under-the-mattress gold, i.e. gold that Turkish citizens kept in their homes as opposed to in official accounts, of Turkish citizens in exchange for the lira. The idea here is that if the government can buy gold off Turkish citizens with lira, then they can use that gold to stabilise the lira. For example, if the lira starts falling against the dollar, the central bank can convert that gold into dollars and then use those dollars to buy more lira, artificially increasing demand and therefore protecting the value of the lira against the dollar. If the government can successfully stabilise the exchange rate, then A, they won't have to top up those dollar-protected deposits, and B, foreign investors will be more likely to invest. So, will this work? Well, it depends. There's certainly enough gold under the proverbial mattress. Turkish citizens have long used gold to protect against high inflation rates and the lira's instability. Gold is a traditional gift for weddings and births, and it's estimated that there's about 5,000 tonnes floating about, which would be worth somewhere between 250 and 350 billion US dollars. This is a significant amount of money. As we mentioned earlier, Turkey's foreign exchange reserves are currently sitting at a two-decade low of about $9 billion. So, even a fraction of this amount would go some way to shoring up their reserves. The central bank has already tried to increase its FX reserves by requiring exporters to keep at least 25% of their foreign currency earnings with the banks and agreeing a $4.7 billion swap deal with the United Arab Emirates, but it's not in a good state, so a bit of gold would definitely help. Anyway, whether this policy actually works will depend on whether the government can convince people to hand it over for less than it's worth on the international market but it's hard to see how this is going to happen, especially given Turkish citizens' current wariness of the lira. We don't know the details of the scheme yet, but they're expected to be announced on Wednesday, so keep an eye out for them. But what do you think? Will the government actually be able to persuade Turks to hand over their gold? Or are all these desperate ploys doomed to fail? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos just like this one possible, and if you want to see your name at the end of videos just like these people, then be sure to back us on Patreon. The link to that is in the description below.